Now I've had my fair share of fun on ATVs and off-roaders, but this right here just takes the whole damn cake. This, ladies and gentlemen, is of course the Sherp. Now I'm sure you've seen them in the past on YouTube channels and you know what this thing is capable of doing. And if you don't know, well, we're here to find out. You're watching the AutoX YouTube channel. You can also get your daily dose of all things automotive on our website, autox.com, and follow us on social media. Don't forget to check out our monthly magazine and make sure to hit the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. The Sherp was built to be a reliable assistant for specialists who overcome natural difficulties as part of their profession. Geologists, oil workers, rescue agents, fishermen, hunters, extreme divers, and travelers. The Sherpa is 4 meters in length and almost 3 meters tall. It also gets a ground clearance of 600 millimeters. It's obviously designed to be purposeful and can climb over obstacles that are as high as 1 meter. It also gets massive 71 inch tires to make sure it can go over anything. Now, powering the Sherp is a turbocharged 1.8 liter 3 cylinder diesel engine that produces 54 brake horsepower and 190 Nm of torque. The Dusan engine is from South Korea and is the official partner for the Sherp project. With a weight of almost 2,400 kilograms, you would think that those power figures are pretty low, but the Sherp is not made for performance. Remember, it's the massive wheels that allow the Sherp to tackle any climbing obstacles as well as paddle the ATV over swamps and water bodies. The Sherp can reach a top speed of 40 km per hour on land and up to 6 km per hour on water. The Sherp can also operate in extreme climates ranging from minus 40 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. The main highlight of course of the vehicle is it is equipped with a unique air circulation system that uses exhaust gases to inflate or deflate the tires as required. The tires are connected by a circuit that allows the driver to adjust the tire pressure to different terrains and payloads. The fuel tank size is 95 liters but there are 4 additional fuel canisters for a total of 327 liters. This means you could possibly have a total drive time of 65 hours. Now the Sherp doesn't have the traditional layout for instruments actually. It's got no steering wheel as you can see. It's just got these two levers here on the side and of course a clutch and the accelerator pedal. It gets a six speed manual transmission from Renault. And of course this is called skid steering which a lot of construction equipment also uses. Um, Sherp has also told me that because you need a driver's course to drive this vehicle over tough terrain, I won't be allowed to drive it. But instead, we do have a professional driver, Sergey, who's going to show us exactly what this thing can do. So as you can see, the Sherp doesn't use the regular steering wheel, it uses two levers that control the different sides of the wheels and that's called skid steering and boy oh boy can this thing climb it's unreal how everything just works look at that climbing and there's also no suspension in this thing it just uses the tires that can deflate and inflate just the press of the button <laughs> okay, don't record, don't record. I'm just, I'll, I'll record I'm just recording the audio, bro. I'm like, I can't record okay, record the audio. <laughs> Our cameraman's flying in the back right now. Oh. But yeah, Sergey here is a professional driver, so he knows what he's doing. And you need to actually have a, a course to learn how to drive this machine. It's not very simple, but the way this thing just flies is insane. It literally is a tank and it can go anywhere and do anything. Wow. Oh, no. oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Climbing up some rocks. This thing is magnificent. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Unreal. He's just going over trees and rocks, destroying everything that comes in its path. All the controls are so easily accessible for the driver to use. Now, it is hot in here, but you can install an air conditioner if you want. And with 
600 millimeters of ground clearance and those massive tires that are 1.8 meters in diameter just allow this machine to go over anything. It's unreal. Oh my God. It's not a slow machine. Actually, it's a very quick machine. It can really move on these insane obstacles. If you haven't been in a shirt before, let me tell you one thing right now. You're in for a treat. Okay, now we're getting some serious stuff going on right now. We're about to go in the water. And uh, this is no joke. I have to record this with my phone. This is the first time I'm going to be going in an amphibious vehicle in the water. Wow. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God, it's that easy. It's literally that easy. Wow. Unreal. Unreal. This is unreal. We're literally in a boat. <laughs> We're literally in a boat. That's also an ATV. Wow. So when you're in the water, the max speed you can go is six kilometers an hour. So that's fine. At least you get there. <laughs> Unreal. Oh yeah! <laughs> you got the windshield open now. This is amazing. Wow. Wow, this is unbelievable, guys. This machine can literally go absolutely anywhere. There's no way I'll be driving this thing right now. It is scary as hell. Sergey's doing a very good job right now. <laughs> a very good job of making me grab on for dear life. I've never been in a machine like this. Wow, I just can't get over it. mind blowing the technology the engineering that's gone into this you have to give sure credit i mean it's a amazing ukrainian company that has done something absolutely mind blowing it's just unreal good job sir good job <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me just tell you guys one thing. That was the most incredible ride I've had in my life. You can forget about roller coasters or going on any kind of ATV or off-road vehicle. That thing right there just blew my mind away. I mean, I even know what to say. I'm speechless. The capability that this machine has is just out of this world. I mean, Sherp has come up with something that is totally unmatched. Of course, it's expensive and it's not really for private individuals, but still, this machine really is the most fun thing. It does have a purpose, of course, but that doesn't mean that it cannot be used for a lot of fun. And if you have the money, which is probably about 115,000 US dollars, um, it's a very good toy to have. But nonetheless, this is a purpose-built machine, as I said before. It can be used for so many different reasons, whether it's rescue service, working in oil fields, even in the army for military use. This machine truly is unstoppable and unmatchable. And thank you, Sherp. We had a fantastic time today, and we can't wait to actually get a driver's course and drive this thing ourselves.